goes for the big one. He's a powerful striker of the ball. That's six for Dhoni. Got the opportunity to free his arms. And boy, have a look at this. That white ball is flying. Down the track. I think that's the reason why it's not easy to get a leg before wicket. He was chipping down the track, Dhoni. It'd be interesting to see where the ball pitches. Going down the leg side. He goes for it again. The result the same, second six for Dodi. He was waiting for that. That's where he likes it. Didn't really get all of it as much as the earlier one, but still hit with tremendous power. He struck it cleanly again. He's just an amazing striker of the cricket ball. Didn't bother running and Billy's having fun and so is Dhoni. What a shot. Absolute power and again, coupled with timing. These two combined can be absolutely sensational. Just look at this shot. Right in the center of the bat. There was no doubt as to where that would end up. Went up like a scud. Only three sixes in the process. Giving the charge. This is the fast outfield. Dhoni taking the Sri Lankans on. Boundary then the over. Seven overs gone. It's 49 for one. Ho, ho, ho. Even the man outside the fence would have been in danger. Dhoni. Would love to spend another 45 minutes to an hour there. I think the whole of India would expect or hope that he would be out there. You can't keep him quiet for just more than a few balls. That's hammered down the ground. Very much a Caribbean style shot. Over pitch delivery off the back foot. Sri Lanka and Bain starts getting together. They will have to come up with some options here. They're still restricted to just two men outside the ring. So the bowling will have to be precise online. Looks like it's certain they won't take power play number two straight away. Yes, I think they'll have to look at some way of picking up a wicket, maybe a spin against Dhoni. Slow delivery doesn't make a difference to Dhoni. He's having a ball. He's farting out in the middle. Nino is gone. It's 67 for one. Still looking very good. The target quite possible. And definitely possible if he can do this. There was a man at long off, but he had no chance whatsoever. And Mahendra Singh Dhoni brings up his 50. What a fine innings this has been. Splendid runs off the Sri Lankans. On that occasion, the Kishan Singh was just thrown at that delivery. He's just short, hitting it on the up. Bludgeoned it down the ground. Awesome power. Full toss and he has hit it over the fence. Up, up and away. Six more to end the over. 16 gone, 109 for 2. Oh! <laughs> well, that's done a little bit of damage to Dhoni, but he's gotten away with it. Premeditated, he was charging him. How he managed to keep that away from his stumps? God alone knows because he could have been stumped as well. Well, he's hurt himself somewhere. I just uh, wonder if he's pulled aside uh, the lower back. 
seems okay. Travis would have had a word with him. I think they've just got to calm him a bit. He doesn't have to hit every ball for six because the field restrictions are on. Just wait. That's in the air and in the gap as well. I wonder if Rahul Dravid went and told him, just play your game, don't worry. <laughs> just keep going, youngster. Really, this was against the break. Now, let, take a look at this one. Against the break, over mid on, um, over mid wicket, I beg your pardon. And then once you get it over the infield, it's four. Murli Tharan into his fifth over. Bowling to Dhoni. That's four. He waited for it, let it do its thing, let it turn, took it on the top of the bounce and just smashed it past extra cover for four. Well, this is uh, an amazing shot because he was looking to hit it square. The ball just didn't come on. In the end, he's just bludgeoned it between mid-off and cover. And see the power behind that shot. Leg spinner bowling from round the wicket. We'll take a look at it again. He's gone and he's well landed in the crowd and the crowd is about 25 yards away from the boundary line. There's no messing around with this man. This one's come right out of the screws. Good position with the front foot. Enjoyed it. Moment he hit it, he knew it was six for the taking. Oops! That must have hurt Murli. In fact, gets to the boundary. 21 overs gone. 155 for two. It's a good example of how hard he hits the cricket ball. It struck Murli Dharan. Daniel, he took his hand with uh, the ball to the boundary. It was hit so Fernando hard. will be the bowler. Mahindra Singh Dhoni, the batsman, on 99. And that will be his 100. Fantastic 100. Coming of just 85 deliveries. The quickest 100 by an Indian against Sri Lanka. And coming at a very important time. Chasing a big target. This young man is stood up. A hug and a word of advice uh, from the captain. He obviously wants him to go on. Hasn't worked up much of a sweat getting this 100 because he's hit uh, so many to the ropes and over the ropes. 10 fours and five sixes. Adjustment. The long off has now become long on. So the straight field long off is free it's a free hit there for Dhoni that's where he likes it but he's got the long on and there's a fielder getting under it the ball has sailed right over him into the crowd take that for confidence there is a long on but look at this this is the sixth six for Mahindra Singh Dhoni no half measures for this man there was a man placed down at long on deep at that and he just took the challenge he was quite prepared to take that field on and the ball sailed over him that's a big hit enormous amount of confidence there in that shot he took on the fielder and the bowler for more down the leg side trying to york Dhoni, but that's the problem there is no margin of error down the leg side got a little bat onto it there's no fine leg or third man that was four the moment it touched the bat no margin whatsoever as you would see Striving for that Yorker, but um, ball straying down leg side, going full, Dhoni getting some back. And as soon as you get bat on that, you're in business for more runs. He's found the gap, slightly short, rocked onto his back foot. He's got four more, Dhoni. Oh, this pitch certainly is unforgiving. The 200's up. And uh, that was just a trifle short, certainly a very good delivery to any ordinary batsman, a batsman who's not in form, not in, 
but Dhoni, he was so quick onto okay. the back foot and hammered it away through the offside, just taking it off outside off stump. By Billy Bowden wanting to have a word with Dhoni. I wonder what that is all about. Running on the field, <laughs> running on the wicket. I suspect that's what it is. But he could be asking for a runner, yes. He's been stretching a bit for quite a while once he sort of overextended himself. He's gone the straight field. There was no need to have fielders there either. He's hit the screen. That is the seventh six by Dhoni. So he equals the record of the highest number of sixes by an Indian. And Dhoni, he certainly is continuing in this way. And despite that uh, hampered leg, there's no need to have runners, Ranjit, when you can hit like that. This is an absolutely amazing inning. This is awesome hitting. What power. Beautiful follow through the bat. Yes, he's, he's struggling. It's been like a 5x display. Rockets all around. Sehwag has come in to run for Dhoni. I think... This was the time when he sort of split his legs much beyond those very taut and strong muscles would allow. That's when he actually started the problems for himself. He goes for the big one, he's best time this. But it's his day. Two runs taken and 150 to Mahendra Singh Dhoni. And they say fortune favors the brave. He certainly has been a brave man today from India's point of view. What an effort. He hit it in the air. And if you want to guess where it lands, outside the boundary ropes. Most sixes by an Indian batsman in a one-day international, and this man is pure magic. Oh, stand and deliver. Say, if one could say that uh, he just can't move his feet, that is no problem whatsoever. Stays at one place and slams it over for long off. He says you can't hit a six if you're not balanced. <laughs> Tony on 169 has a great opportunity to become the highest scorer in a one-day international that is by a wicketkeeper 172 by Adam Gilchrist versus Zimbabwe Hubba 2004 still remains the highest score by a wicketkeeper it's just three shot man getting underneath it but the ball clears the fence and he achieves a fantastic record Mahendra Singh Dhoni there comes the highest run getter in a one-day international for a wicketkeeper, and that takes him to 175. What sensational batting this is! Even the most ardent Sri Lankan supporter would acknowledge that uh, there's nothing very much you could do under these circumstances. Clean hitting, and that's once again six maximum for Dhoni. How do you reckon Dhoni will finish this off? Do you think he's got a six in his mind? Yes, he has a six on his mind. And that is exactly what he gets. His tenth sixer. What an innings. Magnificent innings by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. 183 not out of 145 balls, 15 fours and 10 sixers. The strike rate of 126.2. This is a magical effort. Awesome batting. Oh, what an innings this has been. Oh, absolutely awesome. I really I find, would find it difficult to find words to describe this innings. But the star today, Mahendra Singh Dhoni, 183 not out, a match winning innings coming in just 145 balls. Rahul Dravid chipping in with 28, and then Yuvraj Singh and Venugopal Rao just keeping Dhoni company to see the end. 303 for 46.1.